when you look at it now, so we, we had a meeting uh, yesterday and now they've asked them to, you know, respond to the petitions against them. Before we get to the petitions against them, but for I first like you to, you know, first give me um, a breakdown of how you think this process will play through. First, we, we we're getting them to respond to the petitions. So what's, ne what's next after that? Well, what I think that will happen next after that is that there will be an investigating panel uh, that will be set up by the NJC to look into the petitions against them. Uh, because the NJC in their press release used the, the, the term gravity, you know, the gravity of the uh, allegations against them, I would imagine that uh, the, the, the petition has gone through the initial uh, a sifting committee of the NJC. There is a committee that usually, you know, sifts uh, petitions against the uh, judicial officers. And that committee uh, has the power to uh, recommend to the NJC that a, a particular judicial officer, who is who normally referred to as a subject judicial officer, uh, should be investigated, or that at the, at the, the petition it's meritless and should be dismissed as a vexatious and frivolous. So, but I assume that in this case, that it has gone through that sifting committee and that the committee has recommended investigation. Okay, but when you look at the petitions against um, the, the suspended Chief Justice on again, you know, I'd like you to speak to one, the timing, mm -hmm. and you know, how you think things will likely play out. Well, um, I, I, I am one of the people that, uh, stand for the proposition that the timing is not right, uh, that, that the timing is not right for the simple reason that at the time of the petition we were weeks b before the general uh, election and that the suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria has a significant role uh, to play in the election in relation to the constitution of uh, the members of the electoral tribunal and also the constitution of the panel of the Supreme Court that would um, uh, that will decide an election petition bordering on the on the on the on the, on the presidential uh, ele election. So the timing is wrong. The timing raises concern as to whether there are political reasons why the measures were being taken. Okay, then let's move on to the other petitions we, uh, from from the meeting yesterday. We saw the petitions against the Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed as well. What? What were the, what, when you look at examining the petition put forward, I think the uh, chambers, of, uh, or at least Abakuba, put, put some petitions as, across. What do you think about the petitions against him? Well, uh, the petition against him is a, essentially that um, being a member of the National Judicial Council and uh, being a, a judge who ought to know the position of the law um, in relation to a judge who has not been recommended by the NJC in accordance with the Constitution putting himself forward to be sworn in at the, as the acting CJ is wrong, is wrong. Uh, and, and, and there is uh, ample authority to support uh, uh, the, the, the petition of uh, uh, Ulisa Agbakoba. In fact, in the petition, Ulisa Agbakoba referred to um, the case of a, a retired justice, uh, Obasi K. Oji, um, uh, the the, the, the one that put himself forward uh, for appointment as the acting uh, ch chief judge of, Imo, of Abia State, who was uh, s subsequently sanctioned uh, by the NJC. And I understand that uh, uh, at the time of sanctioning of uh, uh, Justice uh, uh, Oji, uh, that uh, Honorable Justice uh, Tanko Mohammed uh, was a member of uh, the National Judicial Council. Okay, but when you look at uh, look at it now, I'm I'm uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I know that there's some element of judicial precedent that should mm -hmm. should follow, especially in the petitions of those two, mm -hmm. of those two um, uh, chief justices, be it the suspended one or mm -hmm. the acting one. How do you think the this will be interpreted based on judicial precedents? Well, um, I don't have visibility on the petition against the suspended CJN to the NJC. But if the petition um, is based on the allegations that form the basis of the charges uh, at the Code of Conduct uh, mm. tri Tribunal, uh, in my view, in my view, uh, I am unaware of any decided case or any proceedings of the NJC uh, where a judge uh, has been sanctioned on the basis of omission 
uh, to declare um, um, assets. Uh, I'm unaware of any decision. Um, but my understanding of the Code of Conduct uh, uh, Bureau Act is that where a, a judicial, where a public officer fails to declare uh, assets, and that public officer owns up in writing, you know that that there's omission in the declaration of that asset. What is just required is for that uh, public officer to update, you know, his record, and then, um, um, you know, give uh, f further information as to the status of his assets. But, but if that has all, all been, been, been put in black and white on, on the processes, how come we have all, all this fear? Well, and that, that is why uh, uh, there is a strong climate of opinion uh, that what is happening to uh, the Honorable Justice uh, of Nigeria. Um, it's uh, politically motivated. Okay. But then uh, when you look at all this and you bear in mind that we're going into 2019 elections, do you think it's the kind of right environment for us to be stepping into the 2019 elections? Well, I think it's not the right environment. I think we should be at a safe harbor, you know, uh, ahead of the election. We should have a settled judiciary um, that will look into the election if there are election petitions. Uh, as we go into the election, we don't know what will happen. Um, if you look at the, the procedure for the NJC proceedings, um, uh, you will see that you will, there, there is the requirement for a hearing of the, of, the, of the investigative panel of the NJC. And then there is also the provision for a report of the investigative panel of the NJC, which, if my recollection is correct, uh, is uh, 30 days uh, from the conclusion of a hearing of, a, of that investigative uh, panel, and then their recommendation will be sent to the NJC uh, for a determination. The, the election would have uh, uh, started uh, by that time. So I, th I don't think it's, it's right for a democracy that we have not reached okay. a safe harbor All right, in then relation we'll, to... All right, then. We'll yeah. keep our eyes and see how this, this um, um, mm. story plays out. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. I've been mm. speaking to Khrushchev. Equeme is a partner at Olani Wajai LP.